Hello YouTube. Well, it finally arrived. Um, I bought this in February from AliExpress. Um, it was £467. Uh, it's a 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. Um, and uh, it's just arrived. So that's today, which is April the 20th, I think. Uh, right, right yesterday, I think. Um, I mean, looks really good. It's very light. <laughs> but uh, the one problem um, that I have discovered is uh, uh, these things. Now, um, it comes it comes with a bolt like this. Yeah, but all my stuff is all pole. So I sent um, to Alpha, Alpha Batteries and they sent me one of these. Yeah, trouble is, it don't fit. <laughs> Right, so that, that thread there is different to that thread there. So I'm gonna go back on my other idea, which I was gonna do is and make a, a T plate or go and buy a T plate, they're quite easy to find, um, and then secure them that way. It's the only other way I can think of doing it that's um, gonna be nice and secure. Uh, I would have liked to have put the poles in just to make it easy to uh, install, but uh, Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so what I've done, I've had to go and get some of these. Yeah, I did see this idea on YouTube, so and what I plan to do is to uh, fix that like that. Yeah, bend that at that position so it's down. You could leave it like that, but I'm gonna bend it at that position and then um, put all the cables in there and then screw that in there. As I say, I would have liked to have used these just to make life a bit easier for me, but they don't fit, so. Um, so I'll go and screw these and um, I'll fit the battery. <laughs> Let's just hope it's working because uh, it'd be a very expensive to send it back to AliExpress. Anyway, it's a chance you take. Radio. so what I've done, I've drilled these out to eight mil, yeah? Uh, I was gonna use that triangle thing, but forget it. Sorry, T-shaped triangle. Um, so I've, I've done eight mil and I went to uh, Wickham Nut and Bolt. I bought myself some eight mil bolts with a lock nut. Um, yeah, and they fit fine. So there's enough thread on there. Uh, so we'll do that. That'll take it to exactly the same as what I've got. Um, so let's go and stick it in the van. Right, so for safety reasons, now I'm gonna lose all my um, Bluetooth on, on everything, but you know, that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect everything on the fuses. Yeah, so that's everything off. Uh, and then I'll disconnect the battery and um, yeah, stick the new one in. So let's go. You wouldn't actually believe it, but the lithium one is less than half the weight of that other one, which is, uh, it's amazing really. Right, so I've stuck the strap there so we can get the battery in and then lock it in. Okay, after all that farting about, I've got a real problem because I've put the poles on, but clearly the poles that I've bought, that's fully tight, look. <laughs> That's it. So they're no good. I'm either gonna have to get new uh, what's names or I'm gonna have to go back to my little T idea um, and screw them in that way. So I'm gonna have to give them a go, I think. Anyway, see how it goes. Right, what a bleeding kerfuffle. Okay, in the end, what I had to do, because my T, I tried a little T, which I'll show you here, design this little thing here yeah which i thought would fit quite nice but it doesn't fit these things were too wide for the pole so i had to get rid of them and all so in the end what i did i, I got the slightly longer nut and just bolted them straight on um everything seems to be working fine um that's up and running this is up and running um sorry sorry about that um this one there's a little pin if you've got one of these 
little pin just there, which you have to change so you get a blue lithium battery. Yeah. And then this is, if you can see this, sorry about the dust. God, hold on. Shh. Right, there you go. All right, so I've got the, uh, the smart shunt. I've got a smart shunt going. So that's showing that it's, um, the fridge at the moment is sucking out 38 watts because I've literally only just turned it on. So that's working fine. And the controller, um, yeah, that's all working fine. So the lithium's up at 13.1. So everything seems to be, everything seems to be up and running. So I'm gonna leave it running now. Um, I'll leave it running now during the day. There's no sun at all. So this is a 200 amp hour. I'll leave the fridge running. I'll leave everything running for a good couple of hours and come outside and see what I've got. Um, but yeah, it seems to be running okay. So uh, time will tell, won't it really? Um, the, uh, yeah. The, so my only problem was those um, poles, which are a pain because they're, they're just not the right size and I paid eight quid for them. So a uh, bit gutted really. Um, anyway, okay, so it's all running. So uh, I put the stuff back together, put the cap back on. Um, the enclosure on there and uh, we're all up and running. I've got a 20 amp charger, which I'm gonna put sort of there and Velcro it to the wall. Um, but yeah, that's all done. So I hope you liked it. If there's any questions about my setup or anything like that, please ask and I'm very more than happy to uh, help you out. Cheers.